So in the previous episode, we tempted fate. What are the boys going to tempt now? Are we back in the past? We're in a ghost town, it seems. <laughs> Another one of these just out there episodes? Okay. We're in some western, apparently. Is Dean? Yeah, who's the sheriff? He's always some sort of good guys. It's here. And a hundred and fifty years later. Oh. Oh, okay. Trust me. Well, I'll be damned. I mean, they're in Wyoming, and they spoke about the devil's trap. Hmm. Library. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of information there, right? That they wouldn't have known about. Bingo. Oh, okay. Didn't seem like it took too long for him to find that. The giant flaming bird. It says here that the ashes of a phoenix can burn you shall the mother. Eve. Him enjoying that. I don't know what he was reading there. One, Sunrise, Wyoming. Gun killed a phoenix today. Left a pile of smoldering ash. The person's name was Phoenix. That's his. Yeah, dude. No, dude. Yes. Well, let me see. Dude. Get your own. Oh, what Get your own. About the phoenix it just says Phoenix. Did he say where he tracked it? No. Okay. So there's some information there. What is here? We can find one. Smith, eighteen sixty-one, Sunrise, Wyoming. Oh, Cass is going to send them back. So come on down here. Come on, Cass. I dream of Genie your ass down here pronto. <laughs> I dream of Genie. Oh, look who it is. Genie. Like I know who she is. Rachel. Rachel. I understand you need some assistance. Oh, really? He's sending you? We kind of need to talk to the big kahuna. I'm here on Castell's behalf. But where is he? Busy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're fighting a war. We get that. Clearly, you don't, or you wouldn't call him every time your you time. stub your toe, you petty, entitled little people. Rachel. Oh, she is really upset. They do not like Dean and Sam, but no one really does. Where the hell's Dean? Why, Ronnie said, I don't know. Um, about your plan. Yeah. You only have 24 hours. Oh, okay. 24 hours. Um, he has to be back. The answer to your question can best be expressed as a series of partial differential equations. Yeah. Aim lower. <laughs> Aim lower? But it's Sam. We are going native. Gotta blend in. Dean is really looking forward to this. Look, just because you're obsessed with all that Wild West stuff, no, not. you have a fetish. Yes, you do. You can recite every Clint Eastwood movie ever made, line for line. Even the monkey movies? Yeah. Yep. I've seen them. Yeah, they were good. I wonder if that gave Kels a nosebleed. I, but then I guess it's only if they travel back that he might cause. Let's hope something doesn't happen to Bobby where he, he's fighting. Dean is like a... when he's something that he really likes, he's such a little kid. March the 4th, 1861, to execute justice upon Elias Finch for the murder of his own wife. Mm. You got anything to say? She was possessed. Okay, what is here? Because if he is a phoenix, then he will rise back up. Oh, what was that look? What was that look between them? There was like half a s smile there. 
Sheriff, we have a word? Depends who's asking. I am. Marshal Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. <sighs> oh, Dean. Nice shirt there. Oh, that pink and that gay. You're very clean. Apparently that means you might be gay. Hi. What do you have? Oh, uh, okay, great. But can they pay with the gold? I only have the one shell. That'll do just fine, and he'll have a sarsaparilla. <laughs> well, okay, thanks, Gene. Are you still around? Yeah, rumor is he's building a railroad stop 20 miles out of town just by the post road. They know so much good. Uh-huh. But that means there's gonna be demons about. Darl is my best girl. She got herpes. Charming. You want a kiss? No. <sighs> nice to see you. I thought we had a date. Okay, apparently. She was hoping for something new. Is she gonna be a demon? Oh. What? Is someone in the room? Oh, him. He's alive. He did that, and then he walked out that door. Rope didn't kill him. Seen it before. Are you... So if you've seen it before. Get yourself some real gear first, huh? Oh, I love how Team really thought they were going to go there looking like that, even though they look so weirdly modern. Yeah, the cult. So? You go get the gun. But didn't the gun come in here? I mean, according to the same the cult's journal? Yeah, but people here barely even know who cult is. Why does Sam have to do it? Because you know me. I'm a posse magnet. I mean, I love posse. Okay, we get the innuendo. Yeah, good right. boy. Good yeah. boy. Right. Because they're not going to know how to ride a horse. This is going to hurt him. Wait until they... Don't slap the horse back. Do not slap its hide. Mm -hmm. Not going to take him out. Forgive me. Sorry. You had your chance. Forgive me? Oh, okay. And who's the judge? If he's, well, unless that's just a reference he's making. Things I don't want to believe. Uh oh. Just tell me if it's true. Which is what? It's true. You know. I have to defeat Raphael. Not this way. Uh. What is he planning? It's getting serious if they, if she's worried about what he's going to do, and she was. One of his top soldiers. <laughs> Protection barrier. Or you're the only greenhorn dumb enough to go chasing after a ghost. He does. He's not a ghost, though. There you go. Chef's dead. <laughs> and the badge. Everything but the badge just burnt away. <laughs> Walk away, gentlemen. I think we'd rather rip you to ribbons. Than fire. I wonder how many bullets he would have. Because we know he made. There was only a sixth left amount. Who's there? Run and hide. Oh, Gotta be Dean. Howdy, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Okay, not a demon. Not a demon. Just, just a, a hunter. Sheesh. You're a what? You Samuel Colt? 
Mm-hmm. My name is Sam Winchester. I'm, I'm a hunter from the year 2011. Such a weird thing to say to someone. Prove it. Oh, look what he's wearing. Oh, that's true, the phone. A giant from the future with some magic... Giant from the future. Because obviously he's like 6465. I need your help killing a phoenix. The phoenix, they exist? Well, you... It's a person. Situation, but I'm not going to be of any help to you. I'm you doped. Right, but, but you say right here, don't believe everything that you read. So what, maybe Dean does it and he takes credit for it? So stow your crap for a few hours and let's go. <laughs> Trust me, I've got plenty of mileage. I'm doing you a favor, believe me. Mm. No, you're not. Why's he gunning for you anyway? I guess you missed the part where we hung him. Yeah, but there was something else about it. Oh, why did you leave that there? What, you let me out of here and we'll talk? I'll tell you. No can do. <sighs> there he is. Open up that cell. Open it yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, most creatures I meet can't get it up for iron. It's a common monster problem. Uh huh. Slash sheriff. So, at least he knows what hunters are. I guess they would, though. No tell. I was married to a woman, good woman, human. I lived outside of town, didn't bother anyone. Until. You want to call me monster? Fine. But he was saying he was peaceful. To the bank for five minutes. I come out, she's gone. And then I heard her scream. Oh, Lord. This man had her pinned in the alley. Shoots me, Shoot. then her. The shots brought the sheriff. Next thing I know, I'm in iron. Ah. The pro they were. They were protecting themselves from the crime. That poor woman. I gotta kill you. Well, if you know what I am, then you know you can't. Oh, he just needs these ashes. Baby. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have. All right. Come on. Go, go. Uh, gotta do it. Really? This is the amount of time that they have left? Let's hope. That just feels painful. Yippee guy, mother. Uh, did they get any pieces or not? I dropped the coat. Ah, oh, see, they were too late. Is there a Sam Winchester here? Yeah. Look, this is nuts. Me and a couple guys made a bet. So, this thing's been laying around the office since... ever? It's from a, a Samuel... Samuel Colt. What? Nice. You know what this means? Yeah, I didn't get a solonoscopy for nothing. Hmm. Come on, Eve. But what about the cold? Because it was left there. I thought that was a really good episode. I found that quite a big step up from the previous episode. It also might also be because the last episode felt very CGI'd. Way too much, I felt, for that episode. I don't know. This was a really good one. I think the ending was a bit... Yeah. It was clear they didn't know how to wrap up 
that element of it. So, you know, it was like, okay. I mean, they got the ashes, so, you know, they can take it to Eve. As the episodes are going along, though I know Eve is supposed to be a big threat, it feels like she might actually get taken out at the end of this season. Uh, I'm not certain, but I don't know. It just feels like kind of they implemented her, obviously, later on. But it feels like she's not going to be as deep. I don't know. It feels like they could have gone from other season, but it feels like she'll get taken out at the end of this. I don't know. They're definitely building up to the confrontation. I quite liked it because... Oh, Sam. Not Sam. I quite liked it because of Dean's idea of what a Western would be like. And him having no idea and everyone just looking at them like they're very strange. Obviously being too clean. The wrong clothes. And then him just ended up being sheriff. Things like that. It was a lot of good humour was used to because it kind of blew... Dean's fantasy of what it would have been like back then because obviously he only goes by the movies instead of what it would really have been like and I think they did a good job of kind of shattering his little world his little expectations Cass is doing something very dangerous about Saul because they mentioned that and his lieutenant turning on him yeah he's treading down this dark path to win the war but they always say like when you become when you're in a war, you will do scrupulous things, won't you, so... Oh, Castillo, there's this certain badness that's coming from you. But yeah, kind of highlighting them, them thinking they didn't get the job done, and then Sam Colt sending it to them. So Sam had an impact on Samuel Colt. Maybe it's because he kind of revealed things that made Samuel Colt know that there was at least some sort of succession to his plans. If he, and maybe that spurred him on because he had given up hope at that point. So at least they can take the fight to Eve. But of course, we still need things to come about. I wonder because they tend to, two episodes after a heavy hit an episode where there's big revelations, they tend to do these these kind of out there episodes and then they go back for an episode or two. But because we're at such, I guess because we're at the end of the season, the rest of it will now just be culminating in the season finale and fighting Eve. It's definitely a fun episode. 